Hey guys, I'm Catherine, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can see the path inside of your Finder. And if you don't know what that is, that's okay. If you go to your Finder on a Mac, and so obviously you have to be on a Mac, but if you go to say downloads and then you do command click on like this top thing here, you have kind of how you got there. So you have like my username and then all the users and then all this other stuff. But when it shows up here, it's just, you know, the name of the folder, the name of the directory. Well, we can do a terminal command that shows exactly how we got to downloads. And so if we do command click here, we can see our path. But with this terminal command, we'll be able to see it like across the screen here. And so what do I mean? Let's just dive into the terminal. And so I'm going to open my terminal here just using Spotlight. And I'll set it all up here. And we, again, are gonna be customizing our Mac. And so we are gonna do defaults because we're accessing the defaults of our system. And we're changing something, so we have right here. And then we have com.apple.finder because we're changing something about our finder. And then we're gonna do something a little weird. It's gonna be underscore fx show posix path in title space dash bool Yes. And so what does this mean? We are accessing our defaults. We're writing something new to our finder defaults. And basically this whole show POSIX thing basically says show the path inside of the little finder label at the top. And then what, what are we saying? Is it going to be true or false? Because that's what a Boolean is. We're saying yes, we do want it to show this path inside of the title of our finder. And so we'll hit enter and you know it'll do this thing comes back and we'll do kill all finder to like kind of restart our finder of course you can log in and log out and look this popped up and check it out it has slash user slash Catherine hodge slash downloads and that is the path of this and so if i do command click i still have access to this but it's nice to see okay how did i get here and so if we actually do command click and like go back to users notice there's my username and then if we make this a little bit bigger, we can see my downloads right here. And here we are again. So this can make it a little bit easier to navigate your files and such. And so if we decide we don't like this, we don't like this finder you know, path thing, like it's weird to us, then we can actually change it back if we go back to our terminal. We can just do the same command basically, but instead of yes, we are gonna say no. So you can actually access like a previous command by just doing up, up. And it will go back to like however you know many you want to go, but we want to just go up, up to go back to this. And we're going to change yes to no, not MP. We're going to change it to no. We'll hit enter and we'll do kill all finder again to like restart our finder so our changes take place. Our finder opened automatically because that's what Macs do. And yeah, now downloads is just downloads and you don't have the path thing there. So what did we do? Well, we learned how to have the path title inside of our finder here. We could have it say just the directory name, downloads, or say the entire path of how we got here. And we had to remember to do a kill all so we could like restart our finder and so the changes that we did in the terminal would actually take place. So I hope you learned something in this video and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.